But you can see, one hell of a fucking hole. Jesus. It's a lot worse than I thought. Um, can I have, have the blue car, car that dad's in the picture with me in front of it? Alright, welcome back to JD's Custom Mopars. Short little uh, video for you today. Just went and got some measurements off my car. Um, messaged another channel. If you haven't checked them out, check out Who's Your Garage. Was uh, talking with Adam about some uh, A-pillar repairs and uh, messaged him, saw on his channel, just watched his A-pillar repair video for the duster and he had some uh, parts laying around so I messaged him to see if I could pick them up. So we've been talking about this uh, A-pillar and the rot. Um, stay tuned, check it out. Um, check out what not to do with your car, please, for the love of God. If you got an old car, don't do this. Um, and then just some updates on what's coming up next. What we're going to be getting into, it's been cold, been working on the honeydew list. So here's what we got coming up for y'all. Do not silicone. Look at that nasty shit. Oh boy. Worse than I thought. Looks like somebody tried to get in here with a little bit of fiberglass. Do a little patch repair on it. Get the shit out of there. This shit's gross. This almost makes me sick. Well, you can see one hell of a fucking hole. Jesus. It's a lot worse than I thought. Do yourselves a favor, throw an RTV or silicone in your fucking windshields. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. It just traps water. The water just needs to be able to run down and not get stuck up in here. You don't want your water coming down, pulling up. And it looks like here's the clips for the trim. It looks like it started to rot right there and just worked its way down as water sat in here. Um, we'll get all that cut out. We'll get it all cleaned up, but it's going to take a hell of a lot more than I anticipated ah shit
looks like this is the same thickness all the way down. So. So as you can see that other uh, car right here, it's the clip that I was digging around. All of that from here down to here is just rotting away. So I'm gonna have to come up with a way to fab this. I'm gonna have to bend up this piece right here, splice in whatever I can, and then also make a piece that comes down this way to conform into here. Probably graft it in right, right about here. That's a lead seam, so I'll have to come down, bend it under the lead seam, and uh, match it up right about here. We'll get that lead out of there, see what it looks like on the other car. But get that cleaned up, and then graft in whatever I need to along here. And I'm hoping that where they had all that silicone at and shit, it's not rotten. That car definitely has rotten places that there shouldn't be rot, and then other places where they're, where you think it'd be rotten, it's not, it, it's surprising. Like me, you see a little bit right on here. My my upper cowl's shot, haven't ordered it yet. I just need to get on that. Um, Christmas is here, I got a taker cruise coming up, so I got that coming down the line. But as you can see, looking at this car, it's not horrible. Well, thanks for watching. No, quick episode. Um, if anyone's looking for an update on progress over here, I will be finishing this up. I had to get it cleaned up a little bit. As you can tell, it's in there. Need to trim it back. But I still got to build that pa that patch piece. I just got to go uh, empty my truck out and make a run to the uh, to the metal yard tomorrow to buy some metal. And then uh, we'll be cutting that piece in there. It's been uh, pretty cold out lately, so I haven't done much outside. But coming up, we'll get all that finished up, and then I'm going to also dig this side out and check inside of here and see what this one's doing. I want to get all that opened up and see, make sure everything's all cleaned out, and uh, get everything all cleaned up. We'll see what happens.